concept of the Civilian Review Board, and more particularly, the Civilian Review Board legislation that was proposed by Alderman Kennedy. I was a co-sponsor of the... Is it me? Okay. You look I want to hear both of okay. okay. All right. I was a, a co-sponsor of the Civilian Review Board bill. It sat in committee for two years. And what we had to do to finally get it out of committee, we had to work with aldermen from all over the city and build a coalition to move that thing out of committee. And we were able to finally get it passed and move forward. I think that Civilian Review Board bill helps to add some confidence to the residents that their the police department isn't running them up. The Civilian Review Board passed the Board of Aldermen because I, I and Alderman Kennedy drafted a compromise. There was substantial opposition to an elected Civilian Review Board. I sat down with Alderman Kennedy and he and I developed a plan whereby nominees would be presented to the, to the mayor from the aldermen. The, alderman, the mayor would choose several of them. They would come back to the Board of Aldermen for confirmation. So I played the important role in passing the Civilian Review Board bill because but for my compromise with Alderman Kennedy, there would not have been a bill. It sat in committee for two years until Alderman Kennedy and I drafted the compromise. Thank you. Mr. Kaysen, your question is directed to Mr. Reed. But the real question with this Civilian Review Board idea is really beyond anything that we've got right now in terms of compromise because what we don't have is subpoena power. And the question is, if you have a civilian re review board without subpoena power, is it worth having a civilian re review board at all? Well, first I need a, before I get to that, I have to, absolutely have to clarify the statements were that were just made. That bill set in committee for two years. Alderman Kennedy came to see me because he said, what can we do to move this thing off of dead center? Alderwoman Jennifer Florida is here today and a couple other aldermen, you can talk to them. We worked with Alderman Kennedy to structure a deal that would move forward. And you know the answer he got from our current president? The answer he got from our current president on that was kind of good luck. And we worked to move that thing forward. So I am deeply offended by the statements that were just made on that bill. Now, you know, I have 30 seconds, so I'll make this quick. I think we do need subpoena power. You can have civilian or civilian review board with subpoena power as long as the rules of Missouri procedure apply. I, I don't know of any prohibition to that. 